So what does this really mean? If you want good quality music, then these help you to play it. Now, of course, if you don't ever want to buy lossless music, you don't want to buy WAV files, you don't want to buy high resolution music, then it doesn't make that much sense because your iPod will play a simple MP3 file as well as these will. But if on the other hand, you love your headphones and you really want to see how good music can sound, then this is the way to go. And also remember when it comes to the price point, if you're assembling a speakers and amp and a CD player and trying to get really good quality music from that, it's going to cost you a bundle of money. With this, you can hear perfect sound with just a really good pair of headphones. Doesn't cost more than 10, 12,000 rupees. And one of these, it costs about 35,000 rupees or thereabouts. One sec. And then, and then of course, you've got to buy the high resolution music. Okay, so all this is interesting for sure, it is the future, but which is the real future? We'll compare these, we'll also throw in the Lyrico phone to find out if a mobile phone with digital music could actually be better than this, because one of them wait is going to be the future. Wait, 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 wait. When you say digital music, all of this is digital music. I think what you're going to say is high resolution music, which it's, is therefore not MP3 or even AAC. So we're going it's to be comparing ALAC, the exact FLAC, same file. Black, ALAC or... Exact Wait. same file on all three. Let's take a look. So let's just go over some of the points that we have been discussing. First of all, form factor. And in this, the shootout between the Astral and Kern and the FIO is not even close. This is a fantastic, slim, beautiful looking form factor. This is clunky at the best of times. Some people complain about the edges in this. I think it's okay. It's not really going to cut you. Form factor, very clearly this wins. When it comes to the user interface and the operating system, this uses Android, this has its own. And again, personally, I would prefer this to the Android, but then maybe that's just me. Crucial question, of course, will eventually come down to sound quality. How do these sound? And how does it compare with what we were just discussing? Simple music from an iPhone or an iPod, and also a new generation of phones that is now available, which does come with, with these. Now this, for example, doesn't have the 3.5 jack. This is the Leiko. Uh, as with as being rumored with the iPhone, uh, which is going to have people say just a lightning connector. This again, you can just plug this in like this and hear music directly. Now, how would that compare with one of these two high resolution tracks? Well, let's just put the entire thing to the test. Starting off, and let's just have the same piece of music in all of these these devices. So I'm going to hear Coldplay, and I'm going to start off with hearing it basically and simply on an iPhone. So this is AAC, this is what you get on iTunes and let's just hear what it sounds like. So here's the thing, this is music the way you and I normally listen to it on our devices, this is an MP3, it's playing. And if you never heard the difference, you may not be able to know what you're really missing. The minute you shift to high resolution though, the difference is immediate, it is stark, and I can't tell you how good it sounds. So, you know, I have to tell you, the minute though you switch to listening to that same track of music in high resolution, the difference is staggering. And I know it's a bit unfair if you can't see what I'm talking about, but the difference is absolutely massive. You'll start hearing details that you didn't know existed. You will start hearing little pieces of instrumental music playing down here, which you hadn't ever heard before. It's, it's really quite an experience. It's the same difference actually from watching standard definition on television and watching high definition on television. That's the sort of a difference. Now, this is high res. How does this high res compare? Let's just try and choose between the Astral and Kern and the FIO. So here's the Astral and Kern. Look, personally, and sometimes this becomes a matter of personal choice, I would prefer the sound in this also to the FIO, but both sound really good. So let's just show you both of these in some detail and I'll give you my take on them. <laughs>
We feel the best way to conduct a shootout between these two devices would be on the basis of three parameters. Design and build quality. The design on the Estadin Kern JR is sturdy and sharp, quite literally. It has edges that dig into your fingers, but if you're going to be more of a pocket user, that shouldn't be a problem. There's a handy volume rocker on the back that can be rotated to control the output volume. A nice touch. Speaking of pockets, the FIO X7 is a large and bulky device. It feels as sturdy as the ANK JR, but it's certainly a handful when it comes to portability. However, a beautiful blue light that the device emits from the bottom does make it look oh so appealing. User Interface Estelle and Kern have fitted their very own interface on the Junior. We feel that while the interface is simple and has all the right functions in all the right places, it's not the quickest of the lot. The touch scroll is quite slow to respond and we wish there were a better way to implement it. The FIO X7 on the other hand runs on Android. The OS has two modes, pure music mode and Android mode. The first one allows for a more music-centered device performance, while the latter allows you to use apps like Google Chrome or use a file manager to browse through your files at length. Sound quality Now when it comes to judging something as subjective as sound quality, we believe it's all about the personal experience. But we all know which one is Vikram's favorite. <laughs>